stop and think Why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest I don't know a single thing Hey guys, good morning, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and today we are doing another full day of eating keto. I am not intermittent fasting today because it is that time of the month and supposedly it is not very good to fast during that and I'm actually starving. It's eight o'clock right now so I am making myself some breakfast. Drop a comment down below and let me know if I am not the only person that like is ravishing during the lady time um, but if you're new to my channel thanks so much for clicking on today's video my name is Brittany Jade I am a mom of three I do a lot of low carb keto intermittent fasting videos here on my channel I am in a postpartum fitness journey my littlest babe is 10 months old and I am currently trying to shed the extra baby weight that I gained while pregnant with him and yes I know he's 10 months old so your girl has been working on this almost a year but that is okay because I am also a big promoter of body positivity and confidence with your body no matter what stage you're at. So if that interests you, go ahead and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the fam. Also, you guys, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. You just saw a little clip of my thumb. Thumbs up, please. It really does support my channel and it lets me know that you guys are interested in these kinds of videos and I really do appreciate that. So I'm getting ready to make breakfast here, so let me show you everything that I've got. So I'm going to be making a little breakfast scramble. So what I'm using is these uh, Johnsonville Better Cheddar Sausages. I've got two of them sliced up here. I'm going to share some of this with the kids, you guys. So this is not all for like one serving. Um, I cut up some radishes here. Apparently radishes, I've never eaten radishes. Let me know down below if you are a lover of radishes. Comment and let me know um, what you guys think about radishes. I've never had them before personally. Um, I think I've had them as like a garnish in salads, but I've never like purchased radishes. But Apparently they're they take on the texture of like potatoes when you cook them so I'm really interested in that I've got a little tiny bit of tomato and a little bit of onion I'm gonna do some jalapenos I've got two um, eggs here I've got some sharp cheddar cheese and then I'm gonna do a little drizzle of this sriracha mayo I got this at Walmart you guys this stuff is bomb.com and your girl loves a little spice so I'm just gonna saute all of this up I'm gonna start off with the sausage here I've got my cast iron going I do not take care of my cast iron the way I'm supposed to guys so don't judge me um, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of olive oil I got my pan heating up here, and we are gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna start off with the sausages first. You guys, these sausages are so good. Um, they are, again, the better cheddar sausages, and the stats on these are amazing. So yeah, so there's 17 grams of fat per one link, no car two carbs per link, um, eight grams of protein there. So I love these, really good. So there's like this um, like reserves from the fat of the meat in there, and I'm actually gonna use that to saute up the um, radishes. So I'm just gonna put them in there. And I'm just gonna season these up like I would potatoes. So like salt, a little bit of salt, some pepper, some paprika, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Just get these nice and flavorful. I think I put in too much pepper. Okay, you guys, here we go. And it looks really good. I'm excited, I just topped it with a little bit of cheese and I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and that's gonna be my breakfast. Say good morning, TJ. Good morning, happy boy. Good morning. Are you eating some blueberries? Yeah. All right, you guys, here's my breakfast. I just plated it up, topped it with a little bit of jalapeno and some of that like drizzle of the sriracha mayo. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I do have the other half left over. I'm gonna see if my daughter wants some, so but if she I doesn't. So I do wanna tell you guys um, something that if you're following me over on... He does not like it when I'm talking to the camera. Let me go and get him. Bubba, what is it? You want to get out? 
Okay, so there is something that I wanted to tell you guys. If you're not following me over on my Instagram, which you should, but I'm just saying, um, I am going to Palm Springs with my family over Labor Day weekend. So we've got a little bit over, a little bit under 10 weeks to go. And so I am like seriously motivated, you guys, to crush my fitness goals, to be really strict. I know I say this all the time to like be in ketosis, but I wanted to show you guys something that I have to kind of help me keep on track. So this is just a little weight tracker that I created. It is just on my daughter's like little art paper, like nothing crazy or anything. I just drew this up. It's a weight tracker and it is basically going to walk me through where I'm going and I'm definitely going to be taking you guys along the journey with me. So I'm going to re um, record my weight um, three days a week because I have a problem. I like to weigh myself a lot. So this is going to help me. Um, I've got my starting weight here and you guys, I'm 163.2 pounds. Really quick, if you remember from last week's video, I was at 159. So because I'm on that time of the month, like the bloat and the weight gain is crazy for me. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you are a lady and you are the same way. Like, I don't know what it is, but that's the number I wrote down because that's really where I'm at. But I honestly think that a lot of it is because of that time of the month. So really quickly anyway, about that. So yeah, I've got my goals over here. So just to work out four to five times a week, no more than 50 grams of carbs, 64 ounces of water a day. I've got um, a bunch of quotes, keep on keeping on, striving to be the healthiest version of me, um, energy, longevity, self-love. Those are just words to live by whenever you're on any kind of journey. Um, face your stuff, don't stuff your face. I love this one so much because I am an emotional eater. Give me a thumbs up if you're an emotional eater, you guys, because... <laughs> Yes. And then I've got some rewards here, some non-food rewards. Um, I think that rewarding yourself for weight loss um, with non-food items is such a huge game changer. So like I've got five pounds mani-pedi, a facial, massage, new skincare because I do want some new skincare. Um, and then like a clothing shopping spree if I hit my goal. So I'm really excited about that because I would love to get some new things before we actually go on our trip. Um, so my goal weight is 145 pounds. My under goal weight is 140, but obviously I'm not pushing myself. Um, I think like a healthy goal to strive for is like maybe two pounds a week max. And so yeah, that is my Palm Springs weight tracker that I have created. And I definitely recommend you guys creating something like this if you are on a journey at all. It just is something pretty to look at. It's something to like give you that extra little reminder. And I am like definitely a written out goals kind of person. So that's why this really does help me. And it's, woo! Okay you guys, so I'm gonna talk in really quickly. I have a friend over, so I'm about to make myself the coffee. I'm just gonna do the Java House Mommy, K cup. Yes. You wanna put it on? Okay, so I'm just using the um, Java House cold brew. This is the medium roast Colombian and you can use that hotter ice. I talk about these all the time, love them. So I'm just gonna dump it in and then um, I'm gonna do the perfect keto chocolate base. I'll have all this stuff linked down below if you guys have any questions. And I'm gonna do the salted caramel collagen. Love this stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna have a coffee and I'll check you guys next time that I eat. I'll show you what this is. Here's the coffee, you guys, and it's super good. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it is currently 1.30 in the afternoon, and I have not had anything since coffee, and your girl is starving. I was gonna make something super fancy for lunch today, just for like the video's sake, but in my house, we have leftovers. <laughs> and I am going to be eating some leftovers because I'm starving right now. Um, so let me show you it really quickly. So this is some keto shepherd's pie that I made last night. Let me try and get better lighting. Um, yeah, so I just did ground beef with the peas and carrots, and I the mashed potato is actually a little bit of cauliflower and then it's topped with cheese i'll leave a recipe for this down below in the description box you guys but this is super good it reheats later you guys know if you're not new to my channel then you know that i love a good leftover meal i'm all about leftovers <laughs> i know some people are not let me know down in the comments if you are somebody who likes leftovers or not it's amazing to me how many people don't necessarily eat leftovers. I do because that's just how I grew up and I'm also really frugal or I try to be frugal when it comes to the food budget for some reason. So I really like to like utilize 
um, making just enough so that we have it for the one meal and then like lunch the next day. Uh, so that's kind of what we do here at our house. But let me know down in the comments if that's something that you guys like too, if you're like big fans of leftovers and whatnot. I try not to include too many leftovers in these videos just because I know that you guys come here to get new ideas, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I had friends over today and I had a busy afternoon and we were just like doing crafts with the kids and stuff. So now I'm gonna scarf this down and I'll catch you guys at the next meal. Um, hey guys, so I am back with a snacky snack. I am going to have a little bit of these chicharrones um, pork rinds and this is by the Mission brand in the picante flavor. So they're like a little spicy. Um, half an ounce or 14 grams is the serving size and of course zero carbs. 4.5 grams of fat, um, eight grams of protein, bomb. So I'm about to weigh those out really quickly and get a serving of those. And then I have this drink here mixed. This is the um, sparkling iced strawberry watermelon flavor. And I just did like a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream in there, y'all. When I tell you guys this tastes like an Italian soda, like it will blow your mind. The ice drinks, I mean, this is a little bit dirty keto, but I think that's what this video is gonna be like the title like dirty keto because this is like very lazy keto very dirty today i'm just kind of like going with the flow um i mean i have my days where like some days i feel like i eat really clean keto and then some days i feel like i just like slack all the way through like i'm just trying to like just trying to stay off the carb train you know um but let me know if you guys like these like dirty lazy style keto videos or if you'd like to see me incorporate more clean keto because I definitely have times where I do both. It just kind of depends on the day and where I'm at. Like yesterday, I felt like I ate really, really good, but I didn't film. So today I'm filming and I feel like my life's kind of hectic, so I'm not eating as clean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh these out really quickly. So normally when I like weigh my food, like I hate weighing food. Sorry, I'm just gonna get a bowl. I feel like weighing it is very like limiting. Um, it kind of, I've talked about this before, where like weighing my food kind of puts me in like a bad headspace um, because it can be very uh, like, it can hold my mind like very captive and can put me in like a really negative space. Um, so like I don't always do this, but I feel like because I'm in the middle of like trying to get ready for this trip that I really want to be super strict because I want to look fire. All right, you guys, I picked up these little beef jerky packets from Walmart the other day. It was like a snack pack and um, there is six total carbs in here, uh, which is kind of high, but I have it in my macros for today because I am tracking. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and have this while I get ready for dinner. Okay, you guys, so I am getting ready to prepare dinner. I know I said that I was gonna have wings tonight, but I actually don't feel like having wings and I didn't defrost them anyway, so whatever. Um, got my little sidekick here on my back, so if you see kicking legs, that's why, and this is a really weird angle, but nonetheless, I've got my salmon filet here. I'm gonna make some salmon tacos, so I'm just going to top this with like, I pat, I've patted it dry. It was one of those vacuum sealed salmon patty things. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna do like a little bit of olive oil on, on the top of it here. And then I'm gonna season the top of that. Kind of like the, t the seasonings have something to stick to. I don't know if you know, or if you've ever experienced like the seasoning just like falling off salmon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper. I'm just using salt, pepper, garlic powder, that's a lot of freaking pepper. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <sighs> okay, I just got this pepper from Walmart and I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna get the big one, but it like doesn't come out and then it comes out a whole lot. So that's annoying. Um, okay, and okay. don't worry you guys, cause I sanitize all of my season toppings before I put them back in the shelf. So don't worry that I'm like not using any gloves or anything. I promise I'm not disgusting. Um, so just a little bit of this Old Bay seasoning and then I have my oven on broil right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the fish in the oven. And these guys are gonna have 
So these guys are gonna have chicken tacos tonight because I only have one salmon patty and my husband's not really huge on salmon anyway. So I think me and the baby are gonna eat some salmon and I'll probably make some broccoli for him. And uh, yeah, these guys will just have chicken tacos, but that is what we're gonna do. So I'll show you what that looks like um, probably when I get done. So I just had to show you guys that I'm doing the cheese shell tort on the tortilla. Um, and this is like literally my favorite way to make cheese shells now. And then I just got some black beans and rice for these guys and I got some veggies and stuff over there. So I'm about to plate up and I'll show you what it all looks like put together. Okay. So here's everything that we've got to eat tonight. These are, this is Taylor's plate and this is Nova's plate. And here's my little plate with some veggies and just gonna top this with some salsa and sour cream. And I'm not jealous that they get to eat rice, but I am jealous of these black beans cause they are so good. So I might've taken a spoon fill. All right, you guys, maybe. so the end of the day has come and I did horrible today on my macros. I'm sitting here looking at everything that I entered and I'm still using my card manager so let me show you guys really quickly. Okay, so this is bad. <laughs> like, I did not eat enough, again. Um, I Obviously I did good on my carbs. I did not hit my fat, haven't hit my protein, just like overall. Didn't have that great of a day, but you know what? I'm about to have me some dessert. So this is super lazy, dirty keto. Um, I picked these up at Walmart the other day. They are the Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs. Um, this is the peanut butter cup one and I actually had this because a coworker of mine at work had them and I tried it and I, y'all, this tastes like the real freaking thing, okay? Um, so there's 90 calories. Um, there is four net carbs, but there's one sugar, so I think there's five net carbs. Because something about the sugar, somebody explained this to me once again, but I'm gonna have my Keto Basics video coming out really soon for you guys. I'm just working to get, I'm working to get the most accurate information so that I don't spread misinformation, so I'm still like learning, um, a lot about like the exact like macros and like you know your total carbs minus dietary fiber and all of that stuff um and what the sugars does to the dietary fiber and the carb count but anyways that was really confusing anyways there is seven total carbohydrates but three diet fiber so there's four grams of carbs per serving in one of these little cups there's 90 calories eight grams of fat so i'm about to have two I'm gonna have two because I have enough carbs left over to allow it. I have a really bad sweet tooth right now and that's just what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna have one now and I'm gonna have one later. It's 7.30 right now. I am not intermittent fasting today. So next week when you guys come back for another video, I will um, do the intermittent fasting thing. But yes, I will have all this stuff that I used today linked down below for you guys. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. Don't make sure to give this video a, don't make sure. Oh yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and um, close out for you guys. So I'm at the 29 out of 42 because I went ahead and added those peanut butter cups here down. Where are they at? Yeah, down here at the bottom. So I am going to go ahead and close out my day. I'm done for today. Yay! Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, I hope that you guys would consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I do these What I Eat Wednesday videos every single Wednesday here on my channel. They are always going to be keto, low carb, some kind of health inspired video. And I am on my postpartum fitness journey and we are in week one on our way to the 10 weeks to Palm Springs. So I would really appreciate if you guys followed along and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.